We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Stryker for sponsoring this video. I just visited their global headquarters in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and wow, this leading medical manufacturer has state-of-the-art workplaces, provides top pay, and even has a housing stipend for their interns. Learn more about how Stryker supports their employees who are in first by going to careers.stryker.com forward slash first. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm here with First Updates Now. I'm here at the first alumni collegiate competition with the Ferris State University team. So I'm here with Andrew and Sam, and I'm going to turn it over to them, and they're going to talk about the robot. All right, so at first we did have a cannon design for our robot. Um, since points were more going towards climbing at the end of the match, we decided as a strategic standpoint to climb instead of shooting, so we replaced that. Uh, Sam actually built the shooter, I mean the climber. Okay, I didn't quite build the climber. But so what I did was um, CNC the hooks out, which I mean would have worked great. But the problem is when we assembled it and welded it, it warped and now it's just bound together. Like you could probably lift it without it moving. So yeah, the lift doesn't move at all, basically, which is big oof. But yeah. All right, I see you got some other mechanisms on here. You've got this uh, this wheel that's sitting here along the side. Want to talk about that? Uh, so we were watching like release videos of other robots that were coming out, and we noticed like, hey, a lot of them don't have a wheel on a stick. So we thought, might as well be the team that does have a wheel on a stick. So just a simple, just a motor with a wheel on it that just spins, and it gets that turning wheel wheel. All right, so with that, guys, I see on the drivetrain down here, it's a very different choice than many teams. You've got a big wheel, and then on the opposite side, you've got two Omnis connected by one wheel right here. So it essentially becomes two caster wheels. So you want to talk a little bit about your drivetrain? It's a little bit different from some of the other teams we've seen. We are not really funded as much. So um, what we did is we just took the mounts that we already had and basically found these giant tires and we're like, you know what, that's gonna be perfect. So I'm, it's got a lot of power behind it, but um, it's pretty easy to get pushed around is the only disadvantage. All right, so is there anything you guys have learned here? We're, we're publishing these out to all the different teams that are you know, learning from the teams here at this RA3D competition and the successes and the failures that the teams have. What have you guys learned throughout this process? I would say definitely be able to do everything, like scoring, climbing. Um, for me, if you're going to be climbing and you're the first spot on that bar, you want to be on the middle so that your alliance members can go on either side and balance you out, else you're all going to slide to one end and it's not going to work. All right, thanks everyone. Here at the first alumni collegiate competition, this is the Ferris State University team. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.